That is the town of Wadi Musa here at Petra, Jordan. I'm about to go inside. I guess it's just a couple of minutes walk over here. And then it's going to be a lot of walking around today in what fortunately is not a hot sunny day. Sunny, but it is not hot because it is uh, mid-January. It was actually uh, quite uh, cold last night. I drove through snow on the way getting here yesterday from Amman, which was quite a, a spectacular sight, snow in the desert. So this is really kind of a perfect day to explore Petra, walking through the canyons and uh, checking out the incredible ruins. Petra is a very unique uh, historical site. It is ruins of a ancient civilization that uh, existed in this area and they constructed these incredible uh, structures inside canyons carved straight out of cliffs and caves. The history goes back uh, BC like a couple thousand years before Christ. There are various uh, civilizations that existed in this area and uh, occupied it and um, constructed some of the various uh, structures that we will be seeing and then they disappeared and other uh, kingdoms came through etc. So there's a lot of history throughout this uh, area. It was on the Silk Road and so there was a lot of trade and warfare squabbling over the territory etc so one important practical piece of information that you will uh, need to have before you come to Jordan and to Petra is get the Jordan Pass the Jordan Pass is something you can purchase online I bought it the uh, day before I flew into Amman and it grants you uh, entrance into many of these sites it waives your visa fee and it gives you entrance into Petra. I have a two-day pass for Petra. And then it also gives you free access to many of the other uh, historical sites around here. So just look into it, the Jordan Pass, it is well worth it. You will save more than $100 or so. All right, I guess the entrance is uh, right up here. So let's get out of the uh, town here and get into the ancient civilization. Welcome to Petra. So I guess this is where I will show my Jordan Pass. So that first entrance there was actually a security check and then there's a uh, assortment of shops here as you can see. I am overloaded with snacks and various uh, liquids here so I am set. So I'm in. Now one important thing to remember, bring a hat. I forgot my hat. It's in my hotel room way up there somewhere and uh, I saw the line of gift shops and the hats and thought it is worth uh, buying another one. So four dinar, which is about five dollars. Getting a horse ride. You know gems? How do you say? G gems? Horse named gems. Gems. Okay. Hello gems. Thank you. What's your legs? I'm glad it's not too hot for you today. What's your legs? I see. Stirrups. Use the stirrups. Do I know how to ride? Not really. I can, I can do this. It's a lot of walking and so I decided to uh, save my legs a little bit. It's going to be like a mile horse ride and then uh, from there I will be walking around the site. And it's three Jordanian dinars which is like $4 or so. Oh yeah. Welcome, welcome to the first time uh, riding a horse first by time. myself I think. Yeah, but, yeah. but you are good ride now. So far so good. Yeah. Seems like a nice guy. You are now in Petra. Gems. 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 Yes, his name is Jim. Yes. And yeah, you? Like, like, this, like stones, gems, stones. And you? Gabriel. Gabriel. Yes. Welcome. And here is Mohammed. Mohammed. You are now in Jordan, in Bitra. Yes, it's amazing. It's the perfect day. You are welcome anytime. Sunny, warm, not hot. Yeah. Here, Sometimes if you can hot. see, many caves here. Yeah. The cave, this is tomb. And here, I show you after, this is obelisk. Obelisk. Obelisk tomb. I see. Yeah. This one's here. Okay. See the uh, four obelisks on the top there, sort of pyramidal shaped, and then the caves inside with an amazing archway. And so this is where the uh, horses stop and the canyon exploring adventure begins. The Seek. You are walking through the Seek, a natural sandstone gorge that gently winds towards the ancient city of Petra for just over two kilometers until it opens onto the magnificent treasury, a triumphal arch once spanned the entrance to the Seek, but this collapsed in 1895. On either side of the arch, there were niches where busts of the king or emperor 
were placed. As you walk through, notice two water channels that run along each side. These held clay pipes that carried fresh water to the city from the springs. And so I guess this might be one of those water channels. And then it's broken here and then continues here. And here you can see the water channels on both sides. This place is so amazing to explore, even without the incredible carvings into the rocks that we're going to be seeing soon. Just walking through these canyons is just so awesome. So beautiful and surreal and And yet I believe it's going to be getting just more and more spectacular as we see more evidence of the civilization that existed here. Another rock wall up there. And check out that insane cliff there. And so I've already arrived at one of the most spectacular uh, sites to see here, the Treasury. Getting a glimpse of it through the rocks. They believe that it was built around the first century BC, so more than 2,000 years old. Absolutely mind-blowing. It's more than 40 meters tall. Close to 150 feet. Hey guys. Okay, which way to go from here? There are steps going up that way. And then the canyon continues down this way. I think I will keep going this way for now and see how my uh, legs are doing on the way back and then maybe head up there. I don't know what's up there. Looks like a fun hike, whatever it is. And maybe some spectacular views. And this is called the Street of Facades.
so you can walk up these steps up there and get an amazing view, seeing all around the area. An hour later, I think I'm going to keep uh, saving my legs and keep going that way. I also have a second day to explore here, so might as well uh, keep it reasonable for today. And here we have the amphitheater, which can accommodate up to 4,000 spectators. It was built by one of the earlier civilizations and then was modified by the Romans. So there have been just many different kingdoms, you know, various uh, civilizations from the area that have come through here and been a part of this city here in the canyons. This site is huge. So much to see here. I'm glad that I have another day. I think my plan for today is to walk as far as I can this way and try to get to the monastery, which people have recommended is really spectacular. Try to get there and then on my way back, see if I can do some of these uh, other options, like people climbing up to the top of that or up there. And if not, then I can uh, do some of the other things in this area here tomorrow. Byzantine church up that way, monastery. But I have a ways to go. You are here. Visitor center is here. And so I took the horse ride down here, I think to there, and then walked through this canyon, Street of Facades, and then this is where it opened up past the amphitheater. You are here. Monastery, all right, two thirds of the way to the monastery. The Great Temple Complex, 25 BC to 100 AD, occupying an area of 7,560 square meters. The Great Temple Complex is by far the largest building in Petra. Accessed by a monumental entryway or propyleum, it features two successive open air areas at different elevations. Excavations have revealed that the upper precinct, accessed by a pair of monumental stairways, featured a small open air theater with semicircular tiered seating. Other features of the Great Temple Complex are a subterranean drainage system and baths. Here it is. Hello. Thank you. Where are you from? United States. Elephant cave here. Uh, there's elephant cave? Yes, green. I see. Well, I look around. Where are you from? From here, Bedouin. Here. Bedouin from around here, I see. Yeah.
think the Great Temple is a great place to have some lunch. Hello again. Your name? Hassan. Hassan. What is your name? Gabriel. Welcome. And this is big mantle that <coughs> I'm Malbiar. That is the elephant cave? The big mantle I'm behind the snake monument here. Uh huh. We see Jabal Harun. My house every day here. Oh, your house is up there. Yeah, that's up there, uh, mantle, every day. Here. Up in the top. Yeah, That's quite a hike. You, you, you're in very good shape, I think. Yeah. Very strong. Very strong. And this is uh, to the top of snake books are nice. Every day tourists you go and see. I see. Yeah. You have to think from cave. Wow, ancient... This is... Uh, this is. is this a Caesar? <coughs> Silver. Silver. Silver? Silver is giant. Wow, it looks this very old. This is me, uh, me found it. You, you found it? Ah, I see. On the ground, huh? Two meters down. Two meters down. Two meters? Yeah, see, I've never seen. Yeah. I've never seen two heads. Cool. <laughs> this is never I, I'm having my lunch now. You take not much. I'm okay. And so I have here some coconut water, excellent hydration, and a tuna sandwich and fries that I bought at a shop right before I started this video. And a pretty nice view to enjoy my lunch. The Temenos Gate, 125 to 225 AD. Before you, at the western end of the colonnaded street, stands the Temenos Gate, the monumental arched entranceway to the Qasr al-Bint temple precinct. It is typically Roman in plan and conception, and may have replaced an earlier Nabataean Gate. And check out this massive structure, the Qasr al-Bint, the most important temple of Petra. Qasr al-Bint temple complex, 25 BC to 25 AD. It is Petra's oldest and most venerable temple complex. Its name derives from local legend that the same pharaoh who hid his treasure in the urn of the treasury promised his daughter's hand in marriage to the engineer who could develop a system to bring water to the palace. Several water channels have been found near it. And the monastery trail has been marked off there. Which way is monastery? From here to the right, you see the bridge? I see. Where the come up? Yes. Straight ahead, five minutes, you find the stairs. And then going up to the right from down there? From the come there, yeah. straight ahead. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Asiag Spring. Wadi Asiag flows down to the spring that is almost dry now. Houses decorated with painted stucco aligned both sides of the wadi. They are dated to the first century BC. Hello. Hello. You want to ride? Huh? No, I like to walk. I'm a hiker. <laughs> Monastery? Thank you. Donkey's getting frisky. That way to the spring, I guess. This way to the monastery.
probably these had like a wooden, uh, you know, front structure and then it was part way into the rock and then something stuck out and they could have been very nice carpeted and candles and could make a nice uh, cozy home there and shaded during the heat The Lion Triclinium, 200 BC to 200 AD. Located on the way to the Ad Dair, the facade of the Lion Triclinium is decorated with a frieze of triglyphs and metopes. So I guess this archway up here is what they were talking about. is the monastery built in the second century AD Wow, and out there I can see the town of Wadi Musa. My hotel is up on that uh, ridge there somewhere. What a spectacular hike getting out here. Incredible landscapes, walking through the canyons, the donkeys and camels and Bedouins, and of course, the absolutely stunning remains of an ancient civilization. So I think I'm going to uh, finish this video here. From here, I will be walking back 
where I started. It's going to be another long trek. That was an intense one. I am uh, pretty wiped out, but fortunately it is mostly downhill from here, at least the uh, first part of it. And then tomorrow, part two, I will be exploring some of the other places that I saw along the way here, going a bit more uh, in-depth into Petra. So stay tuned. See you tomorrow.